हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम सुमन गुप्ता फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ लॉ कुरुक्षेत्र यूनिवर्सिटी कुरुक्षेत्र टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द मॉड्यूल वीमेन इन डिफिकल्ट सर्कमस्टांसिस माइग्रेंट वीमेन वीमेन इन आर्म कंफ्लिक्ट women and natural disaster women in folklores and performing arts and women and disability from the paper policies and current debates objective of the module is to study about the women in difficult circumstances which migration and its effect on women impact of armed conflict on women how natural disaster affects women contribution of women in folk lores performing arts disability amongst women and how to protect women migration is simply put movement from one place to an other it can be assisted or independent movement it can also be international or within a country and can be by land by sea or by air a migrant aims might be met or she may face hurdles and unexpected outcomes according to dictionary of military and associated terms migrant women is a women who belongs to a normally migratory culture who may cross national boundaries or has fled her native country for economic reasons rather than fear of political or ethnic persecutions the mobility of women affects the roles of both female and male migrants families left behind in the migration process and secure destination communities and countries of migrants in particular migration of women within and from developing countries affects the development process itself for those countries it challenges to immigration and refugee policies and addresses such issues as family reunification and formation labor migration trafficking and smuggling and forced migration women and migration until the mid 1980s little research or analysis of migration trends focused on gender issues with the increasing feminization of internal and international migration and the changing role of women more generally significantly more attention is paid today to these issues by both researchers and policy makers there is a need for number 1 policies and programs to enable migrant and refugee women to participate actively in decisions that affect them and their families number 2 improvements in the protection of migrant women rights and their safety and security number 3 improvements in the socio economic status of migrant 
and refugee women. Number four, improvements in the access of migrant and refugee women to primary and reproductive health care services, including programs to address sexual-based violence, sexually transmitted diseases, and HIV AIDS. Next, ensuring that migrant and refugee women are resources for the development of their home community. Next, identification of ways better to promote stay-at-home development that will provide women and with employment opportunities, education, health. Next, improvements in the collection of data on internal and international migration. Women in armed conflict. Armed conflict simply states wars and destruction in a particular place, giving birth to sufferings and hardship. While war and conflict inflict suffering on everyone, women are the most hit targets of armed conflict, which is characterized by her displacement, sexual assault, sexual slavery, half widows, women trafficking, murder, torture, etc. UN reported that 90% of the modern war casualties include women and children. The condition of women in armed conflict area result not only in the atrocities of physical or sexual abuse but has negative social and health outcomes. Negative social outcomes include her rejection by her family and community, stress and strain on her marital relationship. Many women in such places are subjected to women trafficking. Another serious consequence of women in armed conflict zone is half widows, which is more tragic than widow. The irony of half widows is that they hope their husbands might be alive and may return one day, which rarely happens. And this hope stagnates her life instead of helping her to move ahead. Many women in such places are subjected to women trafficking. Another serious consequence of women in armed conflict zone is half widows, which is more tragic than widow. The irony of half widows is that they hope their husbands might be alive and may return one day, which rarely happens. And this hope stagnates her life instead of helping her to move ahead. Though Women are the worst sufferers of armed conflict all over the world. But the women in India, particularly Kashmir and Pakistan, are embroiling in drastic outcomes of war and terrorism, giving way to turmoil and violence against her. A study done by Medicines Sand Frontiers in mid-2005 reveals that Kashmiri women are the worst sufferers of sexual violence in the world. The social stigma associated with rape of women in armed conflict areas renders her unmarriageable, deprived of respect in society and traumatization for the rest of her life. Certain recommendations for seeking justice for women victims in armed conflict areas. All humanitarian responses in conflict situations must emphasize the special reproductive needs of women in conflicting zones to redress to the psychological needs of mother who has been subjected to gender-based violence. All military personnel including peacekeeping personnel should receive as a part of their training instructions on their responsibilities to protect the chastity of women in armed conflicting areas. Clear and easily accessible system should be established for reporting on sexual abuse by military forces. 
severe punishments should be accorded to the accused who rape and torture the women especially military forces politicians are negroes in every conflicting zones special counseling cells should be open for women for rendering free services above all women should be included in conflict resolution process as she is an equal and important part of the society encouragement in increasing the effective participation of ngos in military affected areas women and natural disaster natural disaster is a major adverse event resulting from natural processes of the earth for example floods volcanic eruptions earthquakes tsunamis it causes loss of life and property leaving behind economic damage too women are far more likely to be injured or die than men because of the following reasons number 1 weak physical strength number 2 they are poorer than men number 3 they have less political voice number 4 women in some cultures wear clothing that is heavy and overly restrictive stop women are far more likely to be injured or die than men because of the following reasons number 1 weak physical strength number 2 they are poorer than men number 3 they have less political voice number 4 women in some cultures wear clothing that is heavy and overly restrictive have long hair that is more likely to get entangled in debris lack of access to education on how to swim emotional linkage of a woman to her family where she sacrifices herself for the sake of saving her family member especially male one her husband or son pregnant and disabled women are most affected in disaster it is estimated that 1 lakh 50000 pregnant were dead in asian tsunami 2004 many crimes to erupt amongst women in disaster like sexual abuse rape women trafficking prostitution etc the us state department noted in 2010 human trafficking report from cyclones and floods in southern africa to earthquake in haiti in japan women suffered more than men in relation to physical economic crisis deaths disability when such national disasters occurred in these places in yet another incident at bangladesh a cyclone struck south asian countries in 2007 killing 3500 people five out of every six of these victims were women women in natural disaster with particular reference to india a report from kusurpur village in odisha where floods hit the place on october 13 2012 women who survived reported that they suffered from sanitation problem outbreak of certain water borne infections among women and led to their deaths are disability due to epidemics like cholera dengue died in gujarat an earthquake hit in 2011 many women were rendered unemployed because earthquake devastated the hydraulic system used by women farmers to irrigate their lands some methods to be adopted to protect and save women in disaster natural women and girls should be the first one to have an access to food and health facilities at the time of natural disaster in disaster struck area 
standard care for emergencies should be established for pregnant women. Access to clinical care for survivors of sexual violence during disaster. Providing nutrition, safe drinking water facilities, health services, toilet facilities, temporary sheds to women affected with natural disaster. Providing of ambulances. Development of female police officer teams for providing safety and easy help to women in need. Policies need to be implemented to help women to gain access to necessary emotional and physical services. Well-lit toilet blocks or water points need to be built close to where many people in disaster are gathered. Together, chances of abuse and sexual molestation would be reduced. Aid workers at the time of disaster should ensure that women have equal access to food vouchers during distribution. Women in folklore and performing arts. Folklore. There are important components in the culture of any given people. It's a fabric into which has been woven the institutions, traditions, customs, beliefs, attitudes of the people. Folklore perform various important functions. Namely, it aids in education of young generation. It provides a group feeling of solidarity. It provides socially sanctioned way of individuals. It serves as a vehicle for social protest. Folklore is the body of expressive culture, including tales, music, customs, history, etc. Women known as keepers of traditions. Women by nature keeps a tab on who is born, who died in the family. They are usually responsible for making sure that the religious rituals are followed successfully in every folklore at its prescribed occasion. In cultures of South Asia, women are known as the keepers of tradition. In Afghanistan, Women are not just seen as keepers of tradition, but also keepers of honor, which is reflected in their customs, traditional phrases, songs, stories. Women especially are given the role of raising brave sons and obedient daughters in every folklore around the world. If that is not so, mothers are blamed for it. In South Asia culture, it is observed that there are several elements of our folklores that are helpful to women of such cultures in terms of finding their strength. In Pakistan, mostly in the areas of Punjab, water wells, they are important part of folklore. Women get together to fetch water as a routine activity. And this far such women in such folklore becomes the highlight of the day. A genuine excuse for going out of the house and an opportunity to see and share their stories, their joys, their sorrows, emotions, etc. with their water-fetching women friends. Women in every folklore plays a key role, especially at parties, wedding ceremonies, which include dressing up, singing, dancing, and in many cases, mixing with relatives 
friends and all extra another most striking feature of women in south asia is seen in visiting shrines for prayers with their family members which gives her a chance to mix with other women at shrines in punjab in india there was a custom called trinjan where young girls were allowed to bring their sampling wheels together they would spin all the day and at one place which would build a bridge of love care togetherness among such women there have been many women heroes in the folklore are icons who broke the rules and got admiration in many parts of northern india the plight of women in these folklores is vast for example a divorce chief women is excluded from different folk rituals that are practiced with bride and groom divorce women in these parts of india are not allowed to groom themselves or sing and dance on occasions widowhood is another such worst sight of women in such folklores where her bangles are broken she is not allowed to wear bright colored clothes to eat tasty foods and allowed to sleep on the floor they are not allowed to take part in prayers festivals and other gatherings in chinese culture certain cruel practice among women could be seen as forceful arranged marriage suicide cruelty of in-laws in ability to get formal education women being sold as slaves preparing a box of clean ashes besides the birth bed if pregnant women gives birth to a female child in spite of this women in all culture and traditions abide by its rules and regulations and as agents temper down cultural legends to the next generation women in performing arts there are the art forms in which artists use their body or voice to convey artistic expression performing arts include primary forms such as dance music theater opera and minor or secondary forms of it include spoken words puppetry circus arts recitation and public speaking women are not only the keepers of traditions home makers but at the same time they are endowed by nature with lots of talent especially in what is called performing arts and they are called the queens of performing arts world one of the brightest and most promising developments for india in post independence has been the expanding influence of women in areas of politics public participation entertainment sports business science and technology no field has remained untouched for women they have broken the traditional restrictions and social roles imposed on them awards in performing acts sangeet natak academy award for performing arts in india indian express awards anita ratnam has received several awards and recognition for her working in performing arts scholarship and fellowship division the scholarship are awarded to young women artists in the fields of indian classical dances music theater visual and folklore the government of india conferred the prestigious padam awards in performing arts to girja devi and nataraj ramakrishna as sangeet natak for standing first in ba music at sndt women's university pune women and disability disability means that it is a consequence of impairment that may be physical 
cognitive, mental, emotional or combination of this. It may be present from birth or occur during a person's lifetime. Impairment means it is a problem in body function or structure to an extent that an activity limitation is encountered by an individual while executing a task or action. About 650 million people in the world, that is 10% of the world's population, live with disabilities and encounter physical and social obstacles. The worst hit among the disabled population is that of women with disability. They become the victims of twofold discrimination. First as women and second as persons with disabilities. Women with disability are often at greater risk of violence within and outside home, injury or abuse, neglect, maltreatment and exploitation than do men with disability. Even if women with disability work, they often experience unequal hiring and promotion of unequal standards, unequal access to credit, unequal pay for equal work, occupational segregation and rarely participate in decision making processes. It's seen that in today's world only 25% disabled women are in workforce. Women are mostly likely to suffer from neuropsychiatric disorder. Depressive disorders account for 41.9% among disabled women. The different types of abuse which women with disability constantly face are number one, physical abuse, pushing her into the floor when she is unable to get back up, hitting her when she cannot do things independent, ignoring her care, needs, slapping, pulling here, hitting hard at strong. B is sexual abuse. Disabled women are twice as likely to be raped than normal women. Psychological abuse, control of contact with outside world, telling her that no one else would want her because of her impairment, locking her in room, refusing to take her to bathroom if she needs assistance, hiding her possessions, including the aids and she needs to be independent as family feels great shape when onlookers look at the disabled. Next is financial abuse not allowing her to have any financial independence, having to beg for seeking access to meet her financial needs. Getting away from abuse is often harder for disabled women because access to help and support is often controlled by the abuse. It's been estimated that only 1% women with disability are literate. Mortality rates amongst girls with disabilities are much higher than boys with disability. Another greater issue of women with disability are teenage pregnancy because of forced sexual abuse by males at her young age. Many disabled women are being deprived of access to education despite of their talent. Disabled women often face issue in terms of her marriage. Disabled women not only face discrimination in social spheres of life, but also in professional fields, especially in sports. Though disabled women represent the marginalized portion of world's population who face obstacle in her social and professional life, but still world is preparing to give her a better future at national and international level so that she can also exercise her right to live in freedom and with dignity. Mayors for Protection of Disabled Women PHAWD that is Breast Health Access for Women with Disabilities. Its local organization based out of Alta Bates Summit Medical Center working to close the gap of women with disabilities in accessing breast health care. Next, DVI, that is Domestic Violence Initiative for Women with 
disabilities. This agency provides crisis intervention and education to women with disabilities who are survivors of domestic violence, sexual assault, and caretaker abuse. INWWD, that is International Network for Women with Disabilities, was launched on 27 August 2008 in Quebec City, Canada, to enable women with disabilities to share their knowledge and experience, enhance capacity in disabled women to speak for their rights, and empower themselves thereby helping to create a just and fair world that acknowledges disability, especially that of women. Next is NAB, a center for blind women. It started on October 2002 by Shri Shradindu Basu at House Khas in New Delhi, India, to provide rehabilitation, training, education, guidance, and dignity to visually impaired are blind girls, women, so as to help them to come out of the dark corners of their disability. Some key areas of concern to provide upliftment of women with disability. Number one, awareness. Is the need of the R to aware the world about the needs of disabled women so that government and NGOs can take steps to eradicate the drudgery on the part of disabled women and can give them a better place to live in. Number two, education. More special schools should be open where disabled girls can receive education and be a source to help to themselves in future by occupying high posts in society. Special quota of seats in professional field should be reserved for her. Number three, training. Professional and vocational training need to be provided to disabled women by experts in the related field so that she can also get a word to unfold her potentials and skills in purposeful directions. Next is employment. Disabled women should not be discriminated as her basis of her disability and restrict her access to a particular employment that doesn't call in for her disability. Next is violence. Sexual, physical, emotional violence is common amongst women with disability. Government and NGOs should lay strict measures to end violence against women. So students, let us now summarize what we have learned in this module. There are a number of women who live in difficult circumstances due to some migration related issues or due to some environmental calamity. Migration raises a number of challenges to immigration and refugee policies that addresses issues of family reunification and formation, labor migration, trafficking and smuggling and forced migration. Wars and armed conflict result not only in the atrocities of physical or sexual abuse but negative social and health consequences. Natural disasters like floods, volcanoes, earthquakes, etc. become the cause of many crimes like sexual abuse, women trafficking and prostitution. Women in every society preserve the traditions in the form of rituals and women are in greater percentage in creative and technical areas of performing arts. Though disabled women suffer from the marginalized position and face 
obstacles and in every field there are certain measures taken at international and national level for the protection of the disabled women thank you thank you students